and welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. Today I want to give a nod to Edgar Lawrence Doctorow, better known to you readers as E.L. Doctorow, uh, who was born in 1931 and died in 2015. Uh, E.L. Doctorow is one of my favorite contemporary novelists, and the first book of his that I read was Loon Lake, published in the mid-70s. And here is the first edition of Loon Lake. And here's a great picture on the back of him, by the way. Um, and this is not his first novel. Uh, he, his other novels would have been um, Welcome to Hard Times, I think, was actually his first novel. This was the first one I read, though, and it's an interesting book. It's, a, uh, it's part of a, a, a series he did where he's um, writing about the Great Depression. Of course, these are fictional works. And this was not a, a major bestseller for him. It was a bestseller. My mother picked it up. It's an interesting story for those of you that like trivia. My mother picked this up in the mid-70s because um, we have a cabin, which there are some videos out there that I put on this um, channel where we've been up at that cabin, which we're, we still own, and there are loons on the lake and so forth. So she thought that might be interesting to read this, and she struggled with it because of the manner in which he wrote it. Now, my mother was a pretty liberal reader. She wasn't um, afraid to try anything new. It just wasn't her style. You know, this wasn't the type of book that she could get into. Kind of a thriller written in a really fast-paced, almost spontaneous prose approach to, um, to the language and so forth. And it moves pretty quick. It is a good book. Um, but she didn't like it, so she passed it along to me. And then I read it, and when I read it, I, I felt there was a connection there. And so over the years, I became an E.L. Doctorow fan. Uh, so my favorite book uh, of E.L. Doctorow, and I think probably the one most of you are familiar with is Ragtime, which was made into a film in the uh, 80s. And it's, a, it's actually a great film, I think. Uh, one of Cagney's, James Cagney's last uh, performances on film. He, I think he did two television movies after that. Um, he had come out of retirement to appear in this as a supporting actor. Uh, this is one of the historical novels that Dr. O did that is just, you know, it's a page turner, uh, beautifully written stuff. And that's why I like him. You know, I love, I love it when the uh, writing is elevated, when it's lush, when it moves, you get the, uh, the mosaic comes alive, so to speak, almost like watching a film in your mind. And so Ragtime's my favorite, one of the historical many historical books he did uh, Billy Bathgate is another one I'm sure you've heard of that World's Fair this is also this is probably my second favorite Dr. O novel which takes place during the uh, those depression years as well Here, another great photo of him on the back a little later and some of his short stories you know he does this historical stuff but some of his Short stories are more contemporary in their settings instead of the historical backdrop and so forth. And those collections would include Sweetland Stories, which I recommend. This is a slender collection of shorter work. And Lives of the Poets, a novella and six stories, is well worth your time because these are not quite as long. So you can see um, great material to read. For those of you that haven't picked up anything by E.L. Doctorow, you might start actually with the short stories and see if that style is suitable for you or if you like the way he writes and tells the story and so forth. I think he's great. I really do. And then not long before he died, he did what I think is one of the great Civil War novels ever <laughs> and ever. And there are a lot of great Civil War novels out there, but he did The March. And this was this book was highly acclaimed it was probably probably the best book of the year whenever it came out and you know this is a this is a great civil war novel so for those of you interested in civil war history el doctor's the march is a the type of book that you can't put it down you know i i couldn't another great picture of him on the back and this is really one of his last masterpieces um I think it was really a, a great way, although he did do another book at the end, which I thought was pretty good, uh, which was Homer and Langley, and this is that one here. Uh, again, he died in 2015, and uh, he had a great career, really a fantastic career. So for those of you who haven't read E.L. Doctorow yet, or if you've read him and you 
are thinking maybe you'd like to find some other things, be sure to read Ragtime, which is, I think this is generally viewed as a modern classic at this point, a modern classic of American literature, as and it should be. Great book. That's my favorite. And then try try the short stories and then try the march if you love Civil War material. So a tip of the Stetson today to the great E.L. Doctorow. Stay well, stay happy. Feed your brain. Read a book.